Dawn and the rubber chicken take three. <laughs> Hello, my name's Dawn. A whole bunch of you know me as Spice Dawn. I'm going to share a little party game with you because a couple people have written me recently and said that they want to inject a little something different into their parties because they're having repeat hostesses and they just want to do something a little more fun and energetic. Now I've never been a girl who likes to go to like a baby shower or a party and sit with a little tablet on their lap and write down numbers or something based on me having to use math when I would much rather be having fun. Okay, so I'm just one of those girls and I'm like, oh my gosh, don't make me do a stupid party game. I would rather be silly and have fun. So if that's not your style, this video might not be for you, but you might like it. You might have certain groups that it'll work for and certain groups that it won't. But I want to introduce you to my party assistant and his name is Robert Chicken. Uh, uh. <laughs> And I didn't know he squeaked, and I thought, oh my gosh, that's going to be so loud. But actually, the fact that this rubber chicken squeaks, uh, uh, I think I paid like $12 at dispensers in the mall. You have to look around. All rubber chickens are not the same. So, here is what I did. I'm going to show you a little video of a party that we did last night. It was totally, totally fun, and the girls loved it. Now, what do you do with the rubber chicken? Well, you're going to see in a minute. But... I have a roll of tickets, okay, and when they're passing the chicken, if they can get it to squeak twice, mm -mm, then you can give them two tickets, maybe three times, let them squeak it three times. It just makes it funnier, and then you can give them something uh, to keep the participation going, but it's a pretty fast-paced game. Now, a prize for the game. The game's pretty much fun enough on its own, but if you want to do a prize, I cut out some egg-shaped felt and I dipped it in Lucky in Love, but I told them that it was clucky in love, as in uh, uh, chicken cluck, okay, so clucky in love. Uh, so they thought that was pretty funny. So that's one of the little prizes that you could do. You can give it to everybody at the party, which is a good idea because your contact information should be on your little felt samples. If you're not sure what felt samples are, get a hold of me. I'll give you a video for that. But uh, I'm going to be sharing some fun things with you here in the next little episode of this video. And I sure hope that this helps. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hi, my name's Dawn. A lot of you know me as Spice Dawn. And this is a little party game for your sexy party. So here we go. chicken dance song. Now how did I get the chicken dance song? Well I tried to record it on this little voice recorder thing I have but it like wasn't loud enough and in the meantime I'm trying to play it and one girl at the party like picks up her phone goes like that in like two seconds has the chicken dance song playing quite loudly and nicely on her smartphone. So like 
you can add music to it. And everybody was doing the whole thing. And, you know, that chicken thing, I've been doing that at weddings for years. Okay, love it. But when I saw them doing it at Sensi Family Reunion and everybody got up and they did that, I was like, you know, I had to do the chicken dance. I haven't been to a wedding in a while. So that's why we chose that music because I was re-inspired at Sensi Family Reunion, which was a blast, by the way. You should never miss it. Now, I want to tell you something else, too. Not every guest at the party is going to be able to participate in this game. Because, like I had a lady, she was on oxygen, I had another lady, and she had a bad knee, or maybe somebody is just such a wallflower and so shy that they couldn't do that. Well, you give them a little chore. Okay, so hey, I'm going to be busy. Can you pass out the tickets for them and count the squeaks? Okay, the other lady on oxygen, she held the phone and pressed the button and held it out so that the speaker came to us. You don't want anybody to be left out. Even if they can't be in, you know, in the game or standing up in the living room. Now, a lot of times you'll do it in a circle, okay? I didn't do it in a circle for the video because I wanted to show you their faces and stuff. And I didn't want you to see everybody's butts. That wouldn't have been very fun. Well, maybe it would have been, but whatever. Seeing their faces is a lot better. So you can do it in a circle. You can do it in a long line based on the house that you're in. Really, you could do it in a big squiggle. However you want to do it, the rubber chicken says, just do it. Uh, uh. Bye.